there's been some speculation that the changing intellectual property rules um, and, and allowing these vaccines, as you say, the, the, the recipe for these vaccines to be shared would be helpful. And do you think that would be helpful? No. Why not? Well, there's only so many vaccine factories in the world and people are very serious about the safety of vaccines. And so moving something that had never been done, moving a vaccine from, say, a, a J&J factory into a factory in India, that it's novel. It's only because of our grants and our expertise that can happen at all. The, the thing that's holding things back in this case is not intellectual property. There's not like some idle vaccine factory with regulatory approval that makes magically safe vaccines. Uh, you know, you've got to do the trials on these things and every manufacturing process has to be looked at in a, in a very uh, careful way. There's all sorts of issues around intellectual property having to do with medicines, but not in terms of how quickly we've been able to ramp up the volume here. You know, I remember how shocked people were when we said we were going to do second sources in these developing country factories. Uh, you know, that that was a novel thing. We got all the rights from the vaccine companies. They didn't hold it back. They were participating. I do a regular phone call with the pharmaceutical CEOs to make sure that work is going at full speed.